Hello. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Says Space Emissary with the Orange Panda and the Game Dog. Let's go to the path to the ruins. Path to the ruins. All right. This is a pretty neat place. You got a spire here. Uh, did, Shall we Zod? Yeah, they got a Charizard here. It's pretty trash here in Smash Four, but he's he's, he's pretty neat. I know someone who's a really mean Charizard. He's going after that one. I never noticed how blocky Red looks. Oh my god. Um, a, a lot of the Pokemon art style does that. Who do you want to play as? I'll play Lucas this time. Do Lucas? Alright. You know, I really don't know which of these two I prefer. Squirtle or Lucas. I guess maybe Lucas. Because actually, I might... I don't know. I don't know. You say I can't make up my mind a lot, but in this case, I really can. I, I don't know who I prefer more. Squirtle or Lucas. Who do you prefer more? Um... I don't know. I like them um, about the same. Yeah. But when it comes to the Pokemon trainer, my favorite is Ivysaur. But oh. we don't have Ivysaur. You don't have Ivysaur yet? And he's also my favorite um, Gen 1 starter. Have I ever explained uh, Project M to you? Yes. Um, in, uh, in that game, they make Ivysaur, they make the three Pokemon their own separate characters. And uh, they actually completely redo a couple of them. Like, I think Ivysaur has, like, abilities to heal now and things like that. Huh. And uh, they all also have their own individual smash attacks. Ivysaur is Solar Beam. Oh, that's awesome. Is um, <laughs> the other guy's like Hydro Pump and whatever the fire type has? Something like that. Because like I don't that. use the fire type that much. I don't recommend Charizard in the first game. That's a hard mode because the first two bosses destroy you. And then in the remake, they made him learn Iron Tail if you get further enough. Or... Iron Tail? Yeah, no, I... um, either Iron Tail, or... Iron Tail or Metal Claw. One of them. There's also a metal, w a steel wing, but, uh, okay, the, okay, uh, you need the more, alright, let's go this way. You know, you can actually just, like, completely skip this part by jumping over this thing over here. <laughs> uh, this is not the way we gotta go, but, though, so, let's get rid of this fool and then get out of here. Have you ever read the, um, have you ever read the, uh, the trophy thing for this guy? No. Um, the, uh, apparently, uh, the story behind these things is that they look at the real threat. That's why they look straight at the screen. Aaron, you're the real threat here. I am. Okay. Well, I no, got the I need the frame of hey. I am the mother. Hey, you're already a mother character, right? One of these um, has a secret area down. You've I met. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I Actually, you know what? How about how about I jump down so the, I can bubble up if the, it's not. The camera doesn't. Um, oh, wait a second. And you can't bubble. Oh my god. This is the absolute worst kind of secret. Um, we're not even. Uh, oh my. We're not even trying to hundred percent the game though. So let's just like go forward. No, I then. think it's um this one. You think it's this one? Oh my. Don't ever do that again. That actually scared me. Oh no, this is dumb. Oh, Wait, what? Who is that? It's the one that oh. um, never appears. Okay. In any other. Now I want to say there's also something us else up here, and if you're yes, okay. Oh, it's um wedding peach. It's wedding peach. Which is the name of an anime, which I'm gonna probably watch after wedding Sailor Moon. Peach, Aaron. If, is aside from Ring Bell, is there any any anime you don't want to watch? Um, Wh I don't want to watch Ikitosen. You should still watch Ring Bell though. You said you told me it was on your to-do list at some point. Yeah, it's all that I don't want to watch <laughs> Ringy Bell. It's that I have so many other things to watch at the moment. All right, all right, let's go over here. <laughs> I mean, the only anime which I refuse of watching are like Etchies, like Etchies, Icky, Icky Toast and I don't know any of this. That's a really good thing. I don't know any of this. I I only slang. watch like anime that is etchy if it's like um. Etchy. What does etchy mean? Uh, Whoa, why fan, am I going so fast? It means fan service or partly porn. Oh. Okay. No! Um, Son of a Neko. We're going to have to redo that whole thing over again. <laughs> we can try taking that shortcut this time, too. Uh, you're gonna, do you know how to use the PK Thunder well? No. No? That's okay. why I just failed right there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me... Uh, you should use the lasso, then. Well, or the, the, the rope well, snake. Well, you know what? I didn't. What? I was too... But, but I, I have to check again. I still want to do it at some point. Oh, man. His neutral air is so good. Lucas. Look at that. Just... What? Lucas. Okay, don't actually be a bit more careful this time around. Um, I'm he gonna, loves the power glove. I'm gonna, <gasps> it's so bad. What? Okay, you can good. bubble. Bubble. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Into the ruins. Is it weird that I try to taunt every time I get to a door because I know you're just going to go through it? What if I don't go through it and we oh. just stand there for like 10 minutes? I don't think that's a good idea. I'll like take my controller away and bring it to my room and just like What, well, then the play video. blind from your room? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Don't actually do that. Okay, that just destroys the fire for a little bit. But Ma it's ma not makes very makes the videos a little bit more more tolerable. But it's not very effective. <laughs> it's pretty effective. It's not effective on me. I think it does like half damage to Squirtle. Uh, we don't need to. By the way, Pokemon's trainer is oh. 
By the way, Pokemon Trainer is warping all over the place. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. Like, he just warps everywhere. The red beam always annoys me. The what? Red beam that he makes. Red beam? Every time he teleports. Every Of all the things that can bother you about the Pokemon Trainer, it's his red beam. Yeah, it's I like, don't even know what that means. If he has a hard teleport, he could have beaten the bad guy, Taboo, very easily. Like, hey, hey, spoilers. All right, Everyone's I think, played this game. Everyone, yeah, yeah, all right, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> you know, when I get my anti-potato device, um, the Dazzle, or whatever I decide to do, I, I had another idea that we could do a, uh, a co-op LP of uh, that Spyro game you hate. Oh, Dawn, the dragon burn in flame. <laughs> what? Open fire. So I can finally see why you hate that game so much. Because I played that game for like five minutes once. I didn't hate it. It wasn't too bad. That's what but, I thought when I first started playing it. You tell then, me. Then, that was the first game I ever raged oh went on. Oh my goodness, Aaron. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be like like the one game you talk about all the time on your channel. By the way, it's impossible to die in this room. Giant Squirtle! Oh, Gosh. I needed that more. But what? I am also the main character right now. Squirrel, squirrel! And if I know anything about anime, the main character is the only character that matters. Get out of here! Right, withdraw. Oh, wait, no, you got him out of the way. Okay. So, like, I love Sailor Moon, but my problem is Usagi is so annoying in the beginning. What is that? She, she's the main character in Sailor Moon. She's all like, oh, I'm so, you know. The other characters are. Oh, oh this, this background is a painting. Do you notice that? Yeah. <laughs> it always seems to annoy me a bit as well. What? It's like the rest of the game looks pretty good and all right and amazing. I love it. It's a really good, nice looking game. Yeah, but then it's just painting. Squirrel is doing a temper tantrum no right reason. now. Oh, wait, why am I doing that? <laughs> By the way, I don't know why, but I always get to really high percentages when I play a Squirtle. He's super light. I don't get it. <laughs> Which one? What is one character you always seem to never die as? Never die? I never die as Wolf when I play as wolf? him. Okay, uh, this could end terribly if this has a ceiling, so I'm just going to do this. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, it actually would have crushed me if that was the oh, case. That? Who is that? That appears to be... Gumby, oh, let's that's, go. That's, I don't think that's Gumby. I it's think Gumby. That, I think it's a character named Putty from an obscure, like, Japan-only game. Because if you don't know what a character is and, uh, that you get a trophy for, it's most likely from that. I like this move. <laughs> I like that move a lot. Rapid spin rage. Right? Yeah, I think it's uh, withdraw, actually. <laughs> even though that's not really how it works in the games. Cutscene. Lucas's hair is always in that one position. It never changes. He has perfect hair. He has clay hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the impossibilities I'll of Lucas's hair. Okay. It'll be squirt. Yeah. Okay. Well, now to fight your least favorite character. No, um, my least favorite <laughs> character is Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Ganondorf is a lot of people's least favorite character. I think he is actually the worst character in this game. <laughs> he is. He's for Hyrule. Yeah, he's... I, I, I like his gimmick. The thing about a heavy character like that, though, is that you need to give him at least, like, one fast attack in order to make them okay. You ever notice that? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it, like if you look at high-level play of people who main a strong or a powerful, but I thought it was Squirtle. If you watch high-level play of people who, uh, who main a very slow but very powerful characters, the difference is that they always know how to use their fast attacks. Like, they always know what they are. Like, Deity's, like, a... Like, Deity's, um... Neutral air where he just like strikes a pose, that kind of thing. I think for Gandor, if you want to use his forward, oh. his uh, his forward tilt. That just a short hop. And I tripped. What are you doing? A backflip. <laughs> hey, let's let's never let's never let him go. I actually don't remember the scene. I <laughs> I haven't played Subspace in so long. We're just playing this by the books, basically. Okay, I've used in there, right? Um, yeah. Wait, no, we're gonna have to. Wait, no, we're gonna have to Charizard first. Oh, we got a Mizo. I wedding. see Putty. I was right on that. Yeah, Wedding Peach. That's the name of Wedding uh, Peach. An anime. It's a natural magic. Girl. We got the Postman. Oh my God, the real superhero, <laughs> the American people. <laughs> okay. Yay. Okay. We're at a nine minute. Dude, yeah, we'll just watch this and be done with it. <laughs> okay, what is he planning to do here with these things? <laughs> He's going to admire them. Just admire them. Oh, these little things right here are interesting too. The thing about um, the thing about deity in this is that there's actually a lot of um, stuff going on behind the scenes. Like apparently deity's kind of a good guy, and he kind of foresees a subspace thing, and those little templates or or badges will help like bring him back to life or something. Because DDD is just amazing. The thing about Kirby antagonists is that they're like good guys in half the games. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever noticed that? Megalore. 
You haven't noticed that. And Magalore is always a bad guy, though. I, I hate Magalore. You hate Magalore. He tricked them. He tricks Kirby. <laughs> Magalore. How could he? Oh, my goodness. I trusted him. <clears throat> okay, I want to save, and then, uh... All right, what's the cave? I think it's another, uh... Um, yeah, we're number six. I think it's another level with, uh... All right, we'll see you guys next time. Yep, yeah, bye. Meow. Yeah.